Hey there, and welcome to my Leveraging LinkedIn series. This video is all about emoji characters and how to use them in your profile in a professional way. Most of us are familiar with emojis from our smartphones. They're the different little smiley faces and thumbs up. But there are different emojis that will elevate your profile and help it stand out. I'll show you. This is my LinkedIn profile. I'm back in the edit mode. This is my title line. It says instructional designer and expertise in social media and SEO. What I've done with my title line is I've used a star as a separator to break them apart. There's also a simple bar that some people use, but I like the star because it helps to draw focus and attention. The other place that's common to use an emoji would be in your about section. Now here I have click the more button above to follow me. In this particular view, it doesn't really make sense, but as most people are on their smartphones when they're browsing LinkedIn, this lines up perfectly underneath the More button for them to follow me as a follower on LinkedIn. Pretty simple, right? So I have a little arrow and I have a triangle that's meant to be more of an exaggerated arrow to help point them in that direction. Now certainly you can use emojis in your regular posts, you can use them in some of the blogging opportunities that LinkedIn has, but I like to start with the profile because it's a really easy way to learn. So the first thing I'll do is I'll edit my title line. Over here with the pencil is my edit mode. Now to get this star, really all I did was copy it out of the characters map in your computer. So go over to your home where you can search what's on your computer, it's usually the bottom left corner, and search for character map. This is what it looks like. When you open your character map it's going to have different fonts available to you with different characters that will show up. This is sometimes useful when you want to find things like the tilde that goes over an N. I can use this character map and what I have here are the wingdings to find different shapes that might work for me. So maybe I want to use an arrow to draw something, more attention to something. So I can select that, it puts it over here as my characters to copy, and then copy it. Very, very easy. From here I can come back into my profile and control V would be a paste. Now, that is not my arrow, is it? That is from a different font family. So the problem with just going over and grabbing any old wingding is that they are not compatible with the standard font. So really what you need to do is make sure that you come back to our good old friend Arial font. If you go through here and try to find something, they're going to be way at the bottom. That's where you'll start finding shapes, right? So you'll recognize here my arrow. This is also where I got my star from. So I could do a music note if I wanted to but I have to make sure I get rid of that arrow before I copy. Come back over here, let's get rid of that A and copy and now I have a music note emoji. So if that was something important in my industry that would be a great tool to use. There are other ways to add emojis into your profile. I like to use a site that's called HTML3 or W3Schools. They have a page, I'll put it in the description, that lists out the different ways to display some of the more common emojis that you're familiar with from your smartphone. So let's say I want to grab something that's a little bit more of a special star. So I can scroll through here and find there's a yellow star. And I'm not going to copy down the code because LinkedIn doesn't really let me get to that level with my profile, but I'm going to highlight and select the star, control C to copy, come back to my profile, Control V to paste, and now I have a yellow star. So I'm going to go ahead and replace my black one with the yellow one and hit save. You can do the exact same thing in your about section and in posts that you want to add to your profile to share with your network. It's a really easy way to call out something and draw more attention to it, and I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.